ones with go crypto investing, but we're first going to start with this little uh, news update. Uh, Lightning Speed uh, Tarot wants to abolish cross-border payments, disrupt the market. Uh, have you heard about Tarot? It's important uh, proposal for the Lightning Network that Lightning Labs uh, introduction in April. Tarot, I believe is how you pronounce this, makes Bitcoin and Lightning multi-asset uh, network to companies claimed in the latest edition of their newsletter. They also explained in simple words what the protocol does and how it does it and the implications of its implementation, right? In a world of communication connectively, uh, nobody says cross-border messaging anymore. Uh, Taro promises in, to do the same thing to cross-border payments. Uh, by decentralizing the global, the entire global FX market into a protocol that can run on a Raspberry Pi by anyone, anywhere. And the Lightning Labs, uh, blah, 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 the protocol that will bring next billion people to the Lightning Network the opportunity uh, provides tarot bring assets, stable coins, like stable coins to the Lightning Network uh, is clearly enormous. Uh, the company claims can Lightning Labs back that case and argue it convincingly, blah, blah, blah. Let's find out. Instead of starting from scratch and booth strapping a new ecosystem of nodes and liquidity, Terra will leverage the existing network effect of both the infrastructure that's been built over the last several years, plus 4,000 plus BTC allocated to the new network today as a global routing currency, right? So this is big news. We're going to pay attention to this uh, to see if they can actually do this and the effect uh, that it'll have. And is it a game changer and a crypto changer as far as... Uh, protocols and the blockchain goes right so we're going to pay close attention to this and see what happens according to the bitcoin layer a global capital market operating on top of bitcoin uh denominated financial rails is inching closer with each new on-ramp and the toro protocol and all of the assets it would bring to the lightning network and making of an on ramps uh, back to Lightning, blah, blah, blah. A community bank could issue a local stable coin on Tarot and it would be, it would only need a handful of nodes of liquidity provided to make a market between a local currency and the BTC core of the Lightning network to be connected to a global community of buyers and sellers. No uh, permission. Uh, no permission required. They'll never see it coming. No permissioning required. According to the Lightning Labs, Bitcoin renders cross-border payments. Uh, stable coins are a huge business and, are, and so are cross-border payments. The intersection between them, Tarot stands. Uh, Visa's 65% operating margin is one of the highest of all the companies in the S&P 500 index. And that margin is lightning and Toro's opportunity. They'll never see it coming. The company experts, what they benefits for every uh, one working on the lightning network will be tremendous. We expect that bringing Taro to market and making lightning a multi asset network will dramatically expand the total uh, addressable market for those buildings lightning application and you know what more users mean more of those sweet sweet fees featured image blah 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 right so this is something to pay attention to to see if that actually works if they can actually uh, do what they need to do and get it in operation and we're going to continue to be watching that and if we look at the Bitcoin price real quick in our morning update, you can see we're still sitting up here uh, trying to beat our regional high two and then our regional high three. We made a nice double top, got rejected, came back to the 50. You need to break these, this area right here that we formed as major resistance. 
since June 20th, about almost a month. Uh, if you can break that, we can come up here into some regional highs. I don't know where I put that price label. It used to be up there, but up here between 28 and 30,000 is your major upper resistance. If you start to trade back down this week on, uh, as you do know, the dollar went down on Friday, right? So, or went up on Friday and Thursday, it had a good end of the week. Uh, and now it's closed on the weekend. So if this starts to trade down and loses some steam, your lower support is this 23,000. 169 down here and then that would be something you need to hold to kick back up to the upside just like you have been uh down in here the uh, past uh two to three weeks right but your first most likely case to bounce would be the 200 like you did back here so if you came back down the 200 you would look for some kind of a bounce at least up into there even if you were to come down then you would come down to your 23,169 and if you do break that 23,169, let's zoom out to the three hour time frame. Uh, your likely area to come down to is in the three hour just below it, which would be in the same area. But if you got below this and you started doing that, that would be resistance. And that could lead you all the way down to that 21,700 range, right? So this is what we're going to watch if you come back test today is this uh, lower support that used to be upper resistance that was flipped to lower support after it broke out and uh your upper there's our little price target your upper resistance today uh if on some kind of major pump if you can breach those old three highs that we just talked about is up there about twenty eight thousand dollars the old supply zone back here this old consolidation before its most recent breakdown would be your major upper resistance and that's what we're watching out for and the Bitcoin price, you can see the...